Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto. Welcome back. Today in the shop we have this 2003 Toyota Matrix. It's the XR with the 1.8. Customer complaint is that he has a leaky power steering pump and a rattle noise in the front end. He had it diagnosed somewhere else as far as the power steering pump leakage and he has the power steering pump with him. So he'll be dropping that off with the car. Not quite sure the whole story on that. We'll take a look once it's on the lift and make sure for certain that it needs a power steering pump in addition to where that noise is coming from in the front end. See everything's saturated. Belt is shot. You see where I have the wrench? That's a tensioner. You're going to pull it towards you, towards the front of the engine clockwise. You're just going to... This type of tensioner you got to pull slow. And then you pop the belt off like so. Alright, so we got two 10 millimeters on this cover. I'm under here, I got one zip tie. We're gonna have to snap the clip off here. And then we have one clip. Should I get behind that? Pop it. That should come off. It is quite obvious that the front seal is leaking. So we'll be removing that power steering pump. So let's lower it down and pull as much fluid as we can out of the reservoir. Next what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to remove as much power steering fluid as possible to eliminate making a mess. You can see we have that one 10 millimeter retainer on the bottom of that one line. We're going to remove that. In addition, there's two through bolts. I don't think you can see them from here. But the nuts are on this side. One there, one there. And then up top is the pressure line. And then there's also a retaining bolt on the bracket. That goes to that line. I want to have a drain pan ready. This might make a little bit of a mess, but we'll see. This goes. Put the drain back this way. All right, next we're going to take and remove that 10 millimeter retaining bolt that goes to the line. All right, then we got this high pressure line. It goes in right up top there. 19 millimeter. She's tight. Might have to use a, a line wrench. Okay. Whew. She broke loose. Maybe she's out. Uh, it's a little hard to see up there, guys, but there's there's one more electrical plug. And if you look right up here, you'll see it. Hopefully this breaks loose. Okay. Let's see what this other one goes is easy. Okay. So top side. Ready to come out. We got it. Okay, we're over at the bench. We got the remanufactured power steering pump. We're gonna take and swap everything from the old one over to the new one. So we got this bolt that goes through the power steering pump. We're gonna have to gain access with a 14 millimeter through the pulley. And that's what retains this bracket on. The nut looks like it's welded. So I'm just gonna spin it over to the bench to. That hole like so. Okay. We're good. Right. 
zip that out the rest of the way. We'll take and put it on right away. I may have to tweak this once I get back in the vehicle. So I think I bent it a little bit. I can see where I accidentally tweaked it. So I just want to bend that straight before I put it back. Should be just like so. I believe that's it. Uh, it looks like the only thing remaining to swap over is going to be the pressure sensor. That's a 19 millimeter. Just open up the pack of O-rings. Looks like we got a replacement one. So we're gonna just take and zip that O-ring off. It appears to be this one. So just take and pop that on. Like so. Got a little bit of oil on there. Let's try this. There you go. So, okay, still a pressure sensor like so. Okay, now we're gonna take it. Got that nice and tight. I just want to take a peek under. Just plug real quick. That way I have no surprises when I put it up in the vehicle. Okay, it looks like they have it primed with some kind of fluid. So, we'll just leave this started in for now so we don't get any dirt up inside it. We're also got a return plug here, most likely that's return, retaining fluid as well. Oh, she looks dry. But we'll just leave that partially in until we get it up inside the vehicle. And then we'll take and remove all these plugs. Gotta go up to the top. It's getting late. Let's make sure these lines aren't pinched anywhere. I'm taking the hinge this up a little bit. Oop, too far. That should allow us to get the, the upper bolt in. I'm gonna take and start the nuts. Start these nuts from this side. And I know it's going to be hard to see. Hold that. I'll get that. That one started. Now the upper one. I'm going to have to get up here. Spin this. It's hard to get your fingers in there. Okay. So this one. Feels like those nuts are grabbing good from the other side. Not needing to hold them in place. Okay, it feels good. It's gonna be hard to see up there, but I'm gonna take and try to get that pressure line started. So I gotta remove the red plug. 
Looks like it probably goes down into a, a flared fitting. I'm just gonna look in the other pump just to make sure. Yeah, so it goes into a flared, flared fitting, so. Let's see if we can start that in. Now you wanna make sure you start these nice and straight. I could ruin the whole job if, if it starts starting a little crooked and you try to force it. So we're gonna run it down snug with my fingers. And then we'll work on getting this bracket lined up prior to tightening anything. Okay, it looks really close right there. Alright, we got it. Good. I was a little worried about that. 10 millimeter. Nineteen, right? Yeah, nineteen. Take and tighten that down now. You don't want to wrench this in in a position when you're not lined up with your bracket because then you're gonna have a heck of a time. Plug. When I removed this line, I, I put a rag inside it because I didn't want any debris falling in there. But now we're going to take and replace that over. Okay, pop this o ring off and match it up with a new one from the kit, which we got right here. You can pop that on, put a little oil around it, start it into the pump, get your tan bowl. Snug that up, remember it has an o-ring seal in it. Don't have to go crazy with it. Okay, so we're going to try to get this belt routed. Something like that. It's going to be hard to get you up in there. However, if you can just envision that for a moment. I'll be right back at you. Now that we got the belt up in there, it's going to be hard to see, but... It, Got it around the power steering pump. Then it'll go up towards the alternator. We have it off the alternator. Bottom side will come around this idler, around the crank, around the AC compressor, bracket around the back side of the water pump, and up towards the alternator. We're gonna pull it clockwise. Yeah. I remember, since it's like a hydraulic cylinder, the slower you go, the better. We're going to want to pull the tension up. So we got enough to go around the alternator. Like so. And we can release it. Looks like we're in and around everything. Now we take and put some fluid in. They want you to use Dextron type ATF transmission fluid. Okay, so we're gonna add the transmission fluid to the reservoir of the power steering. I know it seems odd, but it is what it calls for. Okay. Somebody had all kinds of stop leak in it before. But we got that all pretty much flushed out as good as we could. It's not gonna be 100% flushed out, to be honest with you. However, next it wants me to try to purge the air out of the power steering pump and the power steering system. Hey, check the fluid level. Jack the front of the vehicle and support with stands. We already had the front end up because the vehicle's on a lift. 
With the engine stopped, turn the wheel slowly from lock to lock several times. Okay, so we have the ignition switch turned to the on position. Vehicle's not running, but the steering wheel's on lock. So I could grab this outside wheel that we still have on. And I'm going to turn it all the way to the left first. Ready? Mm -hmm. To the lock, all the way to the right. Should be able to see some bubbles come up through. Anything yet? Yeah, I see some. Anything? You can see the level moving. Okay, so the level is going down? Yes. All right. Start the engine. Run the engine at idle for a few minutes. Okay, start it up. Turn the wheel from one side to the other. Hold it there for a couple seconds. Crank it. Now go to the other side. Alright. Top this off. Now we're going to raise this back up and check it for leaks. High pressure line looks dry. Return looks dry. I believe we're good. Now that we have that power steering pump out of the way, I don't want to go throwing up the covers and whatnot until I get this front end rattle fixed. And we uh, pretty much isolated that. Both sides, I'm not sure if you can see that. Why is my question? 